How do you connect with people? Andy, how do you do that? Yeah, so we, uh, <clears throat> we're in the same boat a lot of times. I mean, the most of our chefs, uh, I can't even tell you, we've talked about this so many times on here too. Yeah. yeah, they'll come to me and they're like, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I had another microgreen guy approach me and they just kind of got laughed out the door. You know, and it's unfortunate because they're trying, but ultimately, you know, we've established such a great relationship. They'd have no reason to leave us, you know, and that's the beauty of it. And that's just part of that is just you going out of your way, customer service wise. You know, like Mike said, they called up and they said, oh, my gosh, I ran out. OK, no problem. I got you taken care of. And you run stuff over to them right away you know, or as soon as you can. Anyway, you know, we have a lot of chefs. We have definitely have some chefs that are kind of like one time every once in a while they'll come out of the blue and say, hey, I need whatever. And, you know, I'll tell them, hey, it's a whole lot easier if I grow it for you ahead of time. But ultimately, I'm just going to give you what I have. And they're fine with that. And ultimately, they'll take what I've got and I'll send them a whole list, you know, just say, hey, here's what I've got in stock. You know, what can we bring to you? No problem. You know, and then they'll be like, oh, well, you know, where can I come pick it up? I'm like, no, don't worry about it. We'll come bring it right to you. You know, I mean, it's free delivery. We do free delivery for all of our restaurant customers. Yep. Uh, and then that way, there, there's no, it's a no brainer. You know, like Josh said on here not too long ago when he was on as a guest. You know, don't give them any reasons to say no, so it boils down to. And that's one of those things. If you say, oh, it's going to, you know, you have to come pick it up or it's going to charge you. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you pay to come get it or make, make pay to, for me to bring it to you. You know, it's just one more reason for them to say no. You know, so the idea is that they're buying enough to where it's easily going to make up your delivery costs, yeah. <clears throat> which is just your gas ultimately. So it's not terrible. But yeah, that's the main thing. It's just, you know, and plus, like whenever we have an opportunity to showcase them, you know, on, uh, social media, if they're sharing pictures of their food with our stuff on it, we always make sure we share it. You know, if they're putting out like their new year's menus, we share that any specials they've got, we share that, you know, right on our, on our uh, personal page and on our micro reads, uh, business page as well. So, you know, it's the idea is you're, you're showing them that you care. Um, and then, you know, some of the restaurants we actually attend on a regular basis to buy food from, you know, at this point we're probably just, you know, trading micro greens for food. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, we don't do that with many of them, but we do that with some of them. So, you know, it just makes a big difference. They see that you care, they see that you're going to be there and you're going to get them what they need when they need it. And that's, that's really the important piece of it. It's customer service, man, all day long, especially with chefs. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. That personal relationship you build with them can go a long way. Um, never charge them for delivery. Uh, nope. Yeah. Uh, that's all made in within the route and everything else. We actually don't charge delivery for anybody. We have grocery stores, obviously you're not going to charge them for it. A restaurants you're not going to charge for and then any home deliveries are within that area so you just don't charge them because you're basically every home delivery we have we're basically driving by the place anyway because it's within the grocery stores and the restaurants so why charge them drop them off and give them good quality products and everything else and then if you get enough you know just a few home delivery customers they're basically paying for your gas then uh, yeah. that you're going to other places so it's just all baked into that and everything else so definitely uh, taking care of people is uh, the way to do this. So, uh, any, uh, thing to bring up just 